Did you think that was probably a, get, a gettable target that you restricted them to? Yeah, I was pretty happy at the, at the halfway mark, particularly at at one for 170 with say 15 overs to go. Um, I would have taken 270. Um, and I still think I would have. I still think I'd take 270. I think it was a good cricket wicket. I think they bowled very, very well. Made it hard for us to get any momentum with the bat. Um, but uh, and the lack of partnerships probably. But yeah, I, I think 270 was um, certainly gettable on that. I mean, what was the major problem? Because it, it seemed almost from the start that you know Watson and Hughes couldn't get going. Is it because the bowling was so good, or is it you know is there just a bit of form problem in that batting lineup at the moment? Ah. Uh, it could be a bit of both. I think they'd bowl very, very well. I think if if Wado's going to get anything loose, uh, I think he's in great touch at the moment. If he was going to get anything loose, he would have put it away. I think they set really smart fields to Husey, made him hard for him hard for him to score. Um, and we saw pretty quickly that the pace started to come off the ball in that second innings, which made it harder harder to score as well. But you know, I certainly think they bowled well. Uh, but the challenge in one day cricket is then to find a way to to score to get some momentum going while at the same time trying to build a partnership. And that was the one thing lacking. I mean, it was flattering in the end to only lose by 50 runs or whatever. It was probably more like a 60 or 70 run loss. But um, you still that's one partnership, one partnership away from your top order, one guy in your top five getting 100, and, and that's probably the difference. Given the, given the nature of this tournament, is it going to be hard for your batsmen to get a bit of momentum now? Uh, well, we, we'll bat well in the next game or we won't, and that'll, that'll be the answer. Um, I mean, international cricket, you, that's just how you've got to respond. It's just, it's a its a bad game. Um, the one thing I don't want to see and the one thing we'll be certainly pushing for is for guys not to, to change the way they play. You know, I want to see Davey Warner going after bowlers. I want to see him crashing the ball everywhere. I want to see Watto doing the same thing. Um, and that's thats the way we've got to keep playing. That's why we've picked guys. Um, and that's the, the challenge. While all of that other stuff is going on around you is to make sure that you stick to your own game plan and... Um, and to find a way to make it work. Was it was there a confidence problem at all with the with the batting today, George? Um, hard, well, it's a hard one to answer because I, I can't speak for everyone personally, but it certainly looked like we were stuck a little bit in between. Do we challenge them, try and take something on, uh, maybe make something happen, or do we? Do we just wait for them to bowl bad balls? And England, I don't think, bowled many bad balls today. You know, I'm trying to think of a drive that we missed or, um, you know, they started reverse swinging the ball. So you tend to think, right, we'll get a couple on the pads or we'll get a cut if they go the other way. But um, there wasn't much, you know. So I think they were very, very disciplined, made it hard for us. Um, but the one thing we kept talking about, particularly with a score like 270, 260, is if you can get that partnership going, I think you can get 90, 80 runs pretty easily in the last 10 overs. It's just a matter of having some wickets in the hand so you can, you can at some stage, put some pressure back on the bowlers. Did you... Um, it was a fair insight, I suppose, from England, you know, with their bowling, what Australia can expect now for the next few months? Absolutely, yep, yep. And, you know, they're, they're a very experienced bowling lineup. so we there's no one there we haven't seen before um, and there was nothing that they bowled today that we weren't expecting. They just executed very, very well. Um, exploited the conditions, exploited the the wearing nature of the pitch, um, which probably wore a little more than we thought it was going to. Um, so that's something that we have to think about going forward as well. George, were you, you surprised how quickly England were reversing the ball? Very, yeah. Yeah, it was um, it's good skill, that. Um, yeah, well, I mean, what I sort of felt like it went from swinging conventionally to swinging reverse within an over or two, and that's... Uh, uh, no doubt they worked on it a little bit. I mean, we saw some. they bowled some cross-seam. Um, maybe the, bowling a little bit of spin early plays a part in that as well. Um, I think they're highly skilled at it, but um, it's something that I think we need to look at and, and try and exploit if that's, if that's going to be um, the condition because it just made it... I mean, it, it made their bowling plan so simple for the quicks once it started reversing. They could, they could really just hit a, a good length throughout the entire innings. Obviously, Michael Clark is a, Michael Clark is a big loss. What's your understanding of... Of when you might expect to see him back? Uh, well, he was he was planning for the New Zealand game. Um, the chatting to him yesterday, he, he felt like his progress had been pretty slow. Um, ideally, we win this game, and and that gives him a little bit of buffer, a, a few extra days. But uh, I know he's desperate to get back. Um, I know the you know the talk is save yourself for the Ashes and whatnot and that. But um, every time I chat to him, he's he's desperate to get here and 
and to get some training under his belt first and then and then to be able to play. But um, it really is a day by day sort of scenario. Um, so I haven't heard how he's gone today or you know if he's made any progress today. Uh, George Shane Watson bowled seven overs today and looked pretty strong. Um, how do you find that balance now between you know he's you know adds so much when he does bowl in the team, but you don't want to sort of over overdo him with so much cricket to come and, and his injury problems in the past. Yeah, we, we monitor that pretty closely with Watto, and he's honest. He could have given us ten today. Um, I think we we looked after him pretty well in the practice games, and it's just about being smart about when we use him and how often we use him and all those sorts of things and. Um, to be honest, I think when you got someone like Watto who's so important to our side and you see how much he, he adds to the side, you've got to be guided by him a little bit. And if he feels like um, he can bowl 10, then you give him his 10 or you know you, you, have, that, you have that space to give him 10. But if he, if he feels like he's at a stage where he can only bowl five, then I think you've got to respect that as well. And James Faulkner um, today was a bit of a shining light. Um, George, he continues to sort of establish himself and show what he can do. Yeah, he does. Yeah, no, very impressive cricketer. Um, you know, it's been a, a really big 12 months for him, really. Um, and as, as I said downstairs, I just think that a, a great trait is that any time you're challenged to go a level that people haven't seen before, he just seems to find something. Um, it's not always pretty, but it's effective. And um, and there's a lesson in that, I reckon, for, for a lot of cricketers and something that certainly this cricket side can take out of. How good was Jimmy today, bearing in mind that it wasn't moving that much sideways? Um, must have looked different. I thought it was moving sideways a little bit when he bowled through the middle. Uh, yeah, well, he's so skillful. I mean, he's he's got the record he's got because of the skills he has. And you know, and as I said, I, the fact that he started reversing it, yep, no issues with that. Um, we were expecting that, but for him then to not give you anything on the pads or not to not give you a cut or just to be so um, so accurate was was testament to the bowler he is and how important he is to, to England's team. Uh, it's the first of a long series of matches between the two sides. I'm over here, sorry. Um, there was talk about the possibility of putting down a marker. Is there any relevance to the rest of the, the, the bigger picture from this result? Oh, none, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, 28 games or something, if, if the first one day uh, uh, has any bearing, then... Um, yeah, I mean, you want to win every game. It's England versus Australia. It's it's a huge rivalry. It, everything means every game means something. So, um, but it's not a it's not a marker. Or it might be, but that we can only say that in hindsight. I reckon.